How's it going everyone? Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step how to download and install a VPN. And if you're not sure which VPN to use or you're looking for some recommendations, I'll be giving you guys my top VPN picks a little later on in the video and talk about what each has to offer in terms of features so that you can pick the one that works best for you. And of course, if you'd like to check out any of these VPNs for yourself, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as full reviews in the description down below. All right, so the first step here is to pick a fast and reliable VPN that does not store your data and has all the necessary security features such as the kill switch. And the three VPNs I recommend the most are going to be ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. Whenever people ask me which VPNs I consider to be the best, it's always these three. If you want the most secure, easiest to use, and generally the best, in my opinion, you can go for ExpressVPN. If you want a VPN with the fastest connection speeds and the largest collection of features, NordVPN is a great option. And if you're on a tight budget and you want the most budget-friendly option of the three, I say go for Surfshark. Even though all three are budget-friendly options, you pay the least with Surfshark, and you can also secure an unlimited number of devices so that you can share it with as many friends and family members as you like. Now, I'll go over what these VPNs have to offer in terms of features and budget a little later on in the video, but the process of downloading and installing goes the same for all three. So pick the one that's most suitable for you. I'll use ExpressVPN to show you how this works as it's the easiest to use, fastest at connecting and disconnecting from servers, and generally my go-to VPN for pretty much anything. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna go to the ExpressVPN website and click on Get VPN and choose one of the subscription plans in front of you. As a general recommendation, the bigger the plan you choose, the less you pay in the long run, and that goes for all VPNs on this list. And if you wanna save even more money off your subscription, you'll find special discount codes for all three of these VPNs in the description down below. All right, so now once you've purchased your subscription and created your account, you'll be taken to your account page where you can see the download options, as well as an activation code, which you're gonna need later. Just pick whichever platform you're using, download the VPN app, and start installing it once the download is done. The installation is pretty straightforward. It's just a bunch of agrees and continues. You just have to click through. And then a final finish installation button to complete the installation process. Once you've finished the installation, click on sign in, copy and paste the activation code when they ask for it and click on continue to start using ExpressVPN. Now, as far as settings go, everything is already set by default to the best option, so you don't really need to change anything. And this goes for all three VPNs, by the way, not just ExpressVPN. That said, in case you want the fastest speed possible with your VPN, I recommend you change the protocol to your VPN's fastest performing option. And that's going to be Lightway UDP with ExpressVPN, NordLynx with NordVPN, and WireGuard with Surfshark. All right, now that I've shown you guys how to download and install a VPN, I'll quickly go over each of these three VPNs and what they have to offer in terms of features and budget to help you pick the ones that work best for you. Okay, so starting with ExpressVPN, this is gonna be the best performing, easiest to use, and most secure VPN on this list. It has the most verified no logs policy due to an incident back in 2017 where the Turkish government seized one of their servers as part of an investigation, only to find nothing on that server. Aside from that, Express is also the fastest when it comes to connecting and disconnecting from servers. And while other VPNs take several seconds, Express does it in less than a second. Personally speaking, this snappiness and responsiveness is why I consider Express to be my go-to VPN, as it feels like it's part of your computer instead of a third-party application. Now, as far as servers go, Express has over 3,000 servers in 105 countries. And this huge amount of locations will allow you to access more content globally. Besides that, Express is overall the best choice if you're looking for an easy-to-use, plug-and-play VPN as it stays away from the more advanced settings that don't interest most beginner and intermediate users. You just open the app, connect to a server, and that's about it. Now, this does mean that it doesn't have a lot of bonus features like specialty servers and MeshNet, but it does have all the essentials like a kill switch, plenty of servers that are optimized for all uses instead of specialty servers, split tunneling, and top-of-the-line protocols. Not to mention that very recently, ExpressVPN has launched their Identity Defender, which tracks your ID and social security number for fraud and guides you through the next steps. They also help in case of identity theft and have a data removal service where you can wipe out your information from any people search websites or data broker databases. Just keep in mind that this feature just rolled out for US users, and they plan on expanding it to more countries and users. So overall, Express is a high-performance VPN with a strong emphasis on security as well as ease of use. And I would especially recommend it if you're a privacy-conscious individual. All right, so next up, we have NordVPN, which is gonna be the fastest, most valuable VPN on this list. When it comes to speed, Nord is the fastest of the three VPNs thanks to its NordLynx protocol, which makes it a very good option for streaming, gaming, and torrenting. Nord also has the largest list of countries out of all three VPNs as it has over 6,700 servers in 111 different countries, which again, will give you access to a lot of content. Besides that, you'll also get a lot of bonus features like an app kill switch, on top of the conventional kill switch, threat protection that blocks ads and malware, and a bunch of specialty servers like Onion Over VPN, Double VPN, and P2P servers. And similar to Express, Nord also has launched their identity protection feature very recently, and it functions the same as that of ExpressVPN. But you also get the cyber extortion protection as well as expert advice for these sorts of situations. So it's a little bit more fleshed out than ExpressVPN. And so if you're looking for the fastest, best value VPN that has a lot of bonus features and options that you don't get with most VPNs, go 
with Nord. And lastly, we have Surfshark, which is going to be the best budget option out of the three. The thing is, despite being so affordable, Surfshark does not sacrifice security or performance to cut costs, and even offers a bunch of bonus features like specialty servers, web protection, and an ad blocker. Now, although it's typically not as fast as Nord and Express, it's still really fast and outperforms most VPNs on the market. Besides that, Surfshark will allow you to secure an unlimited number of devices with one subscription, as opposed to Nord's 10 device limit and Express VPN's 8 device limit. So it's basically the best option if you're looking for a fast, low budget VPN that gets the job done at the best possible cost without sacrificing security or any important features. And the cherry on top is that you can share it with your friends and family. And with that, we've reached the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to use the links in the description to grab yourself the best discounts possible and check out the full reviews as well if you want to know more about these VPNs. Besides that, like and subscribe to see more of these videos and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.